open plan workspaces with shared desks. This is what the modern office looked like in 2019. In 2021, we'll see a very different world. COVID will create a new norm of online workspaces and spacious, sanitized offices. This is an airport in 2019. How do you solve this? Well, it's actually in the same way. Instead of standing in a real queue, you're called through a notification. Buy retail online and pick it up in duty free. Send a message rather than asking a question in person. Not only do these create a COVID safe airport, there are vastly better customer experience and will improve travel in the future. Plus, travelers in the current climate will be prepared to change their habits. Wouldn't you rather wait like this? And our conversations with Sydney and Melbourne Airport have shown that the benefits would be far reaching. The aviation industry is currently losing $1.1 billion a day and digitizing airports will allow them to lower costs through automation and increase the productivity of their spaces by analyzing traveler movement data. So we're building a platform for all the services travelers could ever need at an airport, along with the tools airports need to analyze the data we collect. We'll have all the features we mentioned before, as well as terminal maps that will show travelers cleaning times, where they can sanitize and a route to their gate. These are the issues that 60 people we interviewed felt were most important, and our solution will stand high above the competition. Current apps lack integration with airports or are limited to only one, and no one wants to download an app for every place they travel to. We'll charge airports a fixed rate based on their size, plus 50 cents per passenger billed monthly. We'll be negotiating prices in upcoming meetings with the ex-CIO of Melbourne Airport, and if we can reach our short-term targets in Australia, this will bring in 5 million of revenue per year. The timing for this couldn't be better, with airports only just starting to prepare for travelers to come back. So our plan is to get our software into Melbourne Airport then expand to other airports around the country. We'll then either white label the solution through an aviation software provider such as CETA, or partner with someone like Macquarie Bank, which has large stakes in airports around the country. And since we're founded by software engineers, we'll have no development costs. So something like $10,000 will last us a long time. We have the connections to make this happen. Along with our contacts in Sydney and Western Sydney Airport, we've been referred just in the last week to executives of Melbourne Airport and Centre Group, where our tech could be applied to shopping centres. My name is Misha, and my co-founder Anuj and I have a vision to create one worldwide platform for all airports, so you can have a seamless travel experience anywhere. If you're as excited as these people are about our product, we'd love to get in touch and welcome any referrals to airport executives. Thank you.